How are we doing ladies and gentlemen, Stoneworks coming at you again with another lock picking video. Today I'm going to try and share a little bit with you guys about what I do to finish my picks. Uh, and that could be custom picks that I'm making or customized tools for a, a specialized purpose or uh, finishing picks that I received in the mail. Today we're going to make this just awful goso dimple pick usable as you can see it's got a bunch of squared off edges it's extremely thick i i can't imagine using this in any uh any average dimple lot <clears throat> anyway let's get right to it so tools parts materials what we're going to be using are this cheap belt sander this started off as a uh, a $30 belt sander from Harbor Freight uh, here in America that's the that's the cheapest hardware store we've got to buy tools uh, each country has their own um, but they generally sell about the same thing we're going to be using uh, I think this is a 400 grit sanding belt uh, we're also going to need a pail of water and a piece of fine grit sandpaper you know you can you can step it down you can go from 400 to 600 to 800 to a thousand etc but what I like to do is I like to since we're already uh, since we're not removing very much material here I like to start off with a fine sandpaper this belt although it's 400 grit it has been loaded up with all kinds of metals so really it's probably more like a, a 600 Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to use the slack portion of the belt to create all of our rounded edges. Now, what's important here is you want to maintain even contact and pressure on all surfaces. That way you're not taking away more material in some parts than others. And you're going to want to dip your, me your metal into water every few a uh, few seconds of contact with the abrasive because once uh, most steels reach 350, 400 degrees, they start to lose their hardness. <clears throat> so if you see your metal starting to turn like a straw yellow color, uh, you need to dip it. And if, it, uh, if it's turning purple, that means it's already hit approximately 700 degrees and the hardness in the metal is mostly going to be gone. Anyway, let's get right to it. So here's what we've got so far. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty well rounded. There are a few little bumps here and there. But our next step is going to be to take all the sharp edges off. Now, 
obviously we're mostly working at a right angle to this belt so it's going to leave a lot of right angles on your on your tool we don't want that we want rounded edges so that we're not uh, digging away the brass pins inside of your lock so just a few swipes here you can use a it's a it's easier to use a a piece of sandpaper on a flat surface but this is what I've got in front of me right now so that's what I'm going to use. Now the other advantage to using a belt sander like this one is our abrasive uh, is traveling perpendicular to our our tool. So what that means is it makes the polishing process a lot easier. So we'll go ahead and take a piece of fine grit sandpaper. I think this is probably about 2,000 grit. And we're going to run that perpendicular to, uh, well, we're going we're gonna to run that parallel to our tool. And it takes all the scratches out a lot more quickly than if we were going with the grain as you'll see here in a moment. Okay, and there you have it. In less than five minutes, we've got a perfectly usable pick. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, just thought I'd share. If you'd like to see more lockpicking videos, please like and subscribe. Have a good one.